Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again, back for some more NASCAR Thunder 2003. And what an awesome race at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Tony Stewart picks up another big win. We only lose two, 10 points. We're 82 points out of Sterling Martin with four races to go. One of these four cats are going to win the 2006 championship. Who can forget that Mark Martin had the 05 championship until the last lap when uh, Jeff Gordon stole it, his fifth Winston Cup. Um, our schedule, here it is, folks. It's the final four races of the season. Rockingham, Texas Roval on a Thursday, and then Texas Oval on a Sunday. And in a new addition to the season, it's going to be California holding the season finale, the California 500. That's going to be a night race. That's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to change the paint scheme. We're going to run the uh, the peel-out reel and forward. Let's go to Rockingham. Alrighty, folks. So we qualified 7th for the Subway 400 here at Rockingham. The day race. After this, folks, it's only three races to go in 2006. The season is coming down to this. Let's go ahead and set it down trackside for our second straight race in North Carolina. We're in Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for today's race, the Subway 400. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Tires, tires, and more tires. You've got to take care of your Goodyear Eagles when you come to this place. Otherwise, you'll be sliding up into the wall before you know it. How about the consistency shown by Jeff Burton? Man, he is amazing. And what a boost towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top ten every week. The 119 car is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Here we go, folks. It's Jimmy Johnson and well, Jimmy Spencer on the front row here at Rocket Hill. The final short track race of the season, and it's going to come down to this, man. We finished, I think we finished great, honestly, at short of sixth place. Yeah, we lost 10 points to, to Marlin, but you know what? 10 points? That, that's nothing, man. That's like literally, that's bonus points, right? Go out here. Try to have a good run. We race it against Jeff Gordon. Here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go race it here at the Rock. 39 laps today, folks. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long race here at Rock again, I tell you. Here we go. The car's going to start off a little bit slow, but that's usual. That's the way our gear ratios work. We like a car that gets... It's much faster once it's all forward up, ready to go. Sorry, Mark Martin. Oh, God, trying to fight to the inside. Look, thank you, Ward Burton. He kind of cut us some slack. Ooh, sorry, Mark Martin. So we're 11th place right here. Going to clear him off the corner. I, I'm just noticing our car is a little bit, little bit sluggish taking off the corner, unfortunately. But I think the best part of the track for passing, in my opinion, is entering turn one. I just feel like the AI slow up so much in this corner that you can really kind of dive your car in there. If you can make your car land after diving in the corner, you're going to be set, right? And uh, again, we just want to be out front. Just be out front, be with the other leaders. If the thing is, if we can run with the leaders, our opportunity to gain points will come. That's my thinking, is that you're going to have four races, three more to go after this. Our opportunity is going to present itself. We have to be ready to pounce. And the best and only way to do that is to run consistent. Your race leader is Jimmy Johnson. I don't think he's won a race this season, guys. I think Johnson's looking for his first win in 06. So we, I, I hope he wins this thing. That'd be great. Be great for old, uh, Jimmy Johnson. We're 10th place here. Gordon's getting up there. If he gets out front, he, he's... Oh, I'm sorry, Labonte. I think he won Rocket Hammer earlier this season. I think uh, Bobby did. What was that Phoenix? Oh, God, I got Kerr pushed down here. I'm going to block you, bud. Sorry. But, yeah, Jeff Gordon's definitely uh, creeping on the front leaders there. I mean, they're they're too, too abreast here, but I tell you, 
Uh, Gordon, he, he, you know, he's kind of like a snake in a can, I tell you. You can only keep him cold up for so long. Right, so once he gets around you, good luck catching him. Dale Jarrett, already eliminated from championship contention, but he's still running very consistent. Johnson, your pulse are still hanging tough on the outside up there. I mean, those cats are going at it. Uh, rather block the inside here. Jarrett's Ford. Ooh, Nelly trying to make this car land. And I hope to God they bring Rockingham back in the 2020s. I hope to God. Rockingham needs to come back. It's, it is one of the most underrated racetracks ever. I, I just people, man, they, they need to bring the Rock back, I tell you. Ooh, block Jarrett once again. We're gaining a little bit, but not much. And we're only on lap eight. And I tell you what, them Robert Yates forwards behind us, they are getting pretty eager to get around us here. Oh, I'm sorry, Jarrett. Kind of chopped his nose a little bit there, bud. Sorry. Uh, Ward Burton behind us, looking to get some speed off the corner. Not enough there. Uh, Jimbo... Jimbo over here. He's just chilling in seventh place. Jimmy Spencer, for those who don't know. And it seems like everyone's kind of, their tires are starting to wear, and Rockingham's definitely a tire wear track, I will say that. Trying to dive in the corner a little bit harder. See if we can try to get a, just, just a tenth maybe off the corner here. Let's see. Right, turn one's a great corner to dive it into because the AI slow up, but the problem is is that you have to land it. Right? It's like you could fly a plane, but if you can't land it, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's the way I treat it. You gotta be able to land it. If you can't land it, you can't you just can't do it because you're gonna hit the wall. You're gonna you're gonna slow up. There we go. We're gaining on Spencer. We're, we've been pushing the car a little bit more, and that's allowing us to make a, a few tents up each lap. Now, I, I don't know about the tire ratio, but the wear ratio between the, the AI and the humans, you know, because as, as we went to Charlotte, our car was better on older tires. Usually the AI is better on older tires, so we'll have to see how this one plays out, but we're gaining on Jimmy Spencer here, and a caution just came out, oh my god, I was looking at the race leaders, let's see what happened here, folks. Uh, I see some slow cars in three and four, something happened, perhaps someone had an engine failure? Let's see. Oh my goodness. It's Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch. Good God. Tough luck for the cat. Uh -oh. Yeah, he got spun out. or No, he had an engine failure. Got hit, spun out. Wow. That was scary right there, folks. So, let's pause it here. We're halfway on fuel. We've ran 11 laps. That would be 22 laps of petrol. It's a 39 lap race. We're outside our window. We can't pit. We just can't pit. I, 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 no, we can't pit. That was the right call. Thank God. I was fixing to say, there's no way you could pit. I mean, you would be... God knows how many laps short. Here we go. So everyone's kind of bunched up a little bit. No one was lapped down. Unfortunate circumstances for Kurt Busch. Warren Burton's going to eat us up on the inside here. But this could give Jeff Gordon a little bit of a break. And he, oh, what? I'm sorry, Ward. I'm sorry, but I didn't expect him to slow up that much. So let's keep the pressure on. Let's try to dive in the corner a little bit harder this time and see if we can try to get around Ward. Oh, boy. And that little bump entering turn one, if you sell it in there with a lot of speed and you're a little bit off the bottom lane, you are going to cream the left side door of another car on the outside. You gotta be careful with that bump. Car's getting very tight with that right front wearing there. Ward has got a good car today, though. I just think he needs a little clean air and he'll be out front. Spencer's, uh, well, he's free fall. He's the elevator at this point. Kenseth is in the mix. Johnny Benson is making some gains since the restart. Jeff Gordon just can't seem to get around his teammate Jimmy Johnson, I tell you. Johnson is really holding up Gordon, which... You know, if I was Mr. Hendrick, I'd be saying, look, boy, don't block your teammate, man. I get it. You want to win, but we're, we're racing for a Winston Cup. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, Benson kind of became magnets there. And, uh, well, we kind of met in the middle. Gordon finally gets the inside lane here. Can he get around Jimmy Johnson? He's got to run. He knows the 99 car's coming. Gordon's got to go. Cats are pitting now. Pit road is open, so lap 18. 
come into lap 19. We're going to have an extra, maybe, maybe a lap, a lap and a half of fuel due to the caution period, so... I don't know, folks. Ooh, Bobby Hamilton digging on the bottom with his Monte Carlo. Jeff Gordon finally gets around Johnson. Perhaps Johnson's tires uh, have finally worn. Yeah, he's coming in. Okay, let's see. Uh, what I paused it there. That was not the smartest thing. Uh, so Johnson comes in. We're going to pit with Jeff Gordon. I'm sorry. I, I'm not even worried about strategy. We're going to pit with Jeff Gordon unless he does some real ridiculous 28-lap stretch. See, that's what I was talking about with that bump. If you hit the bump with a lot of speed, it's it, it kind of just it just shoots you up to the outside lane. Right there, we had way too much cooking, and we couldn't slow it down in time. Okay, we're coming in. Got to hook it. Got to hook it. Got to get some speed here, guys. Got to get some speed. Lock it. There we go. Okay. Um, we're getting a little bit getting on pit road there. Uh, no damage repair. Keep. Oh, drop that PSI. Give me some. Give me some acceleration, bro. I I need some freaking oomph in this car. I tell you. So here's here's the sit rep. We're gonna be. We're gonna have to just just outrun Jeff. Oh my God, Jeff Gordon contact on pit road. Oh my goodness. Championship problems for Jeff Gordon. That was crazy. That was freaking crazy. I'm over here eating a cube of cheese and freaking Jeff Gordon just. He just did the freaking Watusi entering his pit box. We're going to block Hamilton. We're going to be right behind Jeff Gordon here. He probably lost a good second and a half at least. So perhaps someone came out of their pit stall before the 24 car could get in theirs. And they kind of just had a log jam. You know, Rockingham isn't exactly a wide open pit road. Ooh. I'm going to chop the nose on that 55. I'm not giving him the bottom. I'm sorry, but I want that 24 car up there lap traffic will be a factor today here at North Carolina Spayway. Alright, so we gained a little bit on Jeff Gordon here. We're both going to be on the same stretch of tires. Who's going to be able to manage them the best? And who's going to win here at Rockingham? It's NASCAR on Diecast Buffet. I don't know why I said that, but it sounded cool. Anyway, so we're running down Gordon's lap 23 out of 39. He's going to have to get around lap traffic, and the lap traffic he's trying to get around, it's its only a Winston Cup champion of Dale Jarrett. <laughs> and there's Mark Martin, who's already made his service down pit road. Oh, goodness gracious, Scott Wimmer. Sorry, bud, but I'm not giving you the inside. I'm going after that 24 car. I will block you, bud. I'm sorry. Uh, you, know, you know, God bless you, buddy, but I'm going for this win. Gordon's easily the short run car, but as you seen late the run, our car was starting to pick off some spots, so I think the longer this run goes, it would be beneficial, but he's going to have to really get log jam, I think. If some cats block him long enough, he, we might be able to get to him. But if there's one thing Jeff Gordon has going for him that we don't, is it's going to be a little bit of a shorter run due to the caution. The caution gave us a little bit extra fuel to get to the end of that first run. Therefore, our tires will be less worn at the end of the race, which is helping us, um, due to the shorter length of the final run because of the fuel. So we pit it a little bit later, the last run's a little bit shorter, and this is gonna help Jeff Gordon's run today at North Carolina. We're 10th place, and Jimmy Johnson's still up front, so I don't know about that, folks. Something don't add up to me. So either Johnson and company made a fantastic pit call pitting early, or they're going to get destroyed with five laps to go on tires. One of those is going to happen, I think. Either way, Jimmy Johnson's out front. Gordon's not leading laps, which is great for me. Uh, we got to run down Martin Martin and company, though. I think our car is going to get better and better as the run goes on. I, I really do. I feel like our car is going to get faster. It's going to get more aggressive as the run goes on. Because our car, in my opinion, is better on the long run. Look at that. Now we got around. Now we're up the ninth. There's Mark Martin there. We gained a little bit of points on him last week. So we need to keep the we need to keep the pressure on him. He's our teammate. But I tell you what, man. We're, we're racing for a Winston Cup. we got three races to go. We got, we're going to Fort Worth after this, right? Texas Roval, Texas Oval. 
that's gonna be fun. And then we're going to freaking California for a 500 mile night race to set the championship. So it's going to be incredible racing the last three events. I mean, a Roval is just, the Texas Roval is, it's a demolition derby, okay? It's a demo derby. The Texas Oval really is a good opportunity. And then who knows what's going to happen at Fontana. Inside 10 to go. Can we run down Mark Martin? Will Jimmy Johnson or Johnny Benson win today at Rockin' It? How cool to be if uh, old Benson got a victory here in 06? Or I, I'm shooting, I, I'm, shooting, I'm cheering for good old Jimmy Johnson myself, but I'm hoping our tires will start to be our advantage here. I'm pushing the car as, as much as I can, to be honest with you folks. And to be honest, it might be a little bit too too little too late to gain a few spots because if we're having to push the car harder than we did before it's gonna expedite our tire wear either way we're digging right now there's a lot of cats up there and i'm trying to run them down folks okay, and i'm trying I i'm pushing this car as much as i can we're gonna lose a little points though to gordon we're gonna lose a little bit unfortunately uh let's get arrested the running order what where's starwood marlin that's what i need to know where's marlin Okay, Marlin is not ahead of us. This is interesting. So, Sterling Marlin's in 16th right now. That means if it finishes like it is right now, we would gain probably 15, 20 points on Sterling. We would lose probably about 5, maybe 3 points on Mark. And we would maybe lose 20 points to Gordon. So, it's really... It's really interesting because Sterling Marlin was our points leader. So that's a cat you want to lose a lot of points to. And we lost a lot of... Or, uh, well, that's the one you want to get a lot of points to, I meant to say. We actually gained points on Mark Martin last week. So it, it's it, that's what you need, man. You need whoever's out front to lose points. That's that's the cat you got to worry about. That's, that's the big tabby in the alley. You know, you got to go for it. So you got um, over here, you got Mark Martin. These cats are starting to blow up a little bit. Their tire wear is starting to come in. It's five to go at Rockingham. Jimmy Johnson. Good luck catching that cat. I'm trying to catch these cats over here. I I'm pushing this car. Like, this right front is going to be freaking scorching by the end of this day. God, I wish we could get a yellow flag right now. That'd be... Dang it, man. The freaking entry to turn one is just... It is really bonkers on our car, bro. It, it just it hops us up to the outside lane. We enter the, 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 the lane on the bottom. But then that bump puts us in the outside and then that upsets our car and we have to correct it but you can see we're gaining a lot of track position here folks and that 88 car is not a lap down i might add i thought he was previously no that is for position these are all positions jimmy johnson um he's pretty much back at the race shop that's how far he's he's had his own zip code and we got a 2019 2020 restrictor plate over here I mean, these cats are running plates. That's how wadded up they are, so... Trying to get around as many of them as I can. I mean, I'm pushing this car as much as I freaking can right now, bro. Like, I, I, I just can't turn the car more than I am right now. I'm doing everything. I'm ready to die bomb this corner if I have to, bro. Come on, car. Do it. And the car is going to get very tight. You barely missed the wall there. It's okay. Get a little draft here. Two to go. Rockingham, we need points. Come on, there we go, there we go. Run the low apex. Come on, car. You you can do it, bud. You can do it. I believe in you, car. There we go. Underneath Jarrett. There we go. Johnny Benson on the outside, losing a lot of spots. I think Junior moves up to second. We got a huge run here. It's gained some points. Sorry, Gordon. I'm going for it, bud. Sorry, Benson. Sixth place. Gotta gain points. Gotta gain points. I want a top five. Sorry, Ricky Rudd. I want a top five. That might have saved us a championship right there, bud. Sorry, Ricky Rudd. I want that top five. It's going to be Jimmy Johnson here at the Rockingham. 400. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm sorry, Ricky Rudd. I didn't mean to move you, but Johnson with the victory... Hey, we gained points on Gordon.
That would I had to make that move. I had to, bro. I had to take it. Wow. Um, you know, I don't like to do that, but hey man, I needed the points. That that that's a point swing. Look how much points that position was. Fifth to uh sixth. That's five points right there. That was a five point move. And with Gordon leading two laps, that move right there, folks, this is why it's so important. That move right there destroyed Gordon's bonus points. That one position took away his five extra bonus points. So we actually gained four. No, let's see. Mm, yeah, we gained. We actually ooh, we gained about ten almost. Yeah. So we gained some good points on him. Uh, we lost five. No, make it ten points to uh, Mark Martin with the uh, five bonus points for leading two laps. That's okay though. Again, that's we gained. I think like 30 points, 35 points last week. So that's that's no big deal. Jimmy Johnson, 33 out of 39 laps led. I mean, just incredible. And Sterling Marlin, big hit in the points here, folks. 115 for Sterling. And you look at us. We got 155. So we're going to gain about, oof, about 40 points on Sterling Marlin. That is a huge hit right there. So, I mean, this everyone's nickel and diamond. But we got three races to go. Three races to go in 2006. Someone's about to win a Winston Cup championship. Kurt Busch drops tremendously. No one knows who's going to win the 06 title. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Upload these Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Diecast Buffet. So go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the new episodes. Next race is going to be the Texas Roval, which is a Thursday race. Not Thursday in real life, but in the game, it's Thursday. And that Sunday will be the Texas Roval. So you can have two races from Fort Worth, and it's on for the California 500 under the lights at Montana. With all that being said, folks, hope you have an amazing day out there. Diecast Buffet, signing off.